What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kari here, back again with another video for y'all. First off, I want you to go like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, too, at kari.hq. All right, now, don't forget to comment on this video as well. So, today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my tips on making connections and dating as a black foreigner in Medellin. Now, that being said, this could apply most of what I'm saying for regardless if you're black or white or whatever, but mainly just as a foreigner coming from the States. And I think you can also apply what I'm going to say today um, to most places in the world, whether you're going to be living in Asia, Europe, South America, whatever. A lot of what I'm saying is going to apply regardless, all right? And today, I'm going to have three specific examples of what I did here in Medellin. Um, and then I'm going to also have a breakdown of the most popular places in Medellin um, that you would most likely go, all right? So stay tuned for all that. Let's get right into it. I'm assuming, guys, that you're new to a, a country, right? And you would just like to have a, a lively social life. So um, not everybody gets to go live in another country, but I think what scares most people is not knowing if they'll be able to uh, meet people and have a, a good friend group and feel like, um, like they have a lot of options of what to do around them, you know? So where do you start? That's the main question, right? Where do you start? It's, it's very, um, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's, it's not something you really know because most people haven't done it. So it's not like there's a, a handbook on how to do it, but um, I'm trying to help you guys out today on what I did. So um, yeah, man, you gotta start somewhere though, that's for sure. And um, where I say you need to start at, for me, is just meeting real people, all right? So stay away from the apps unless you have no options and no um, time on your hands. So example, if you have no time on your hands and you're here for like a long weekend, whatever, they have plenty of club and stuff. You can still have a good time in the city, but you're probably not gonna be able to meet and make connections um, because I mean, you just don't have time. I mean, it takes time. You, uh, what I'm talking about is having like a good friend group and things to do. So, you know, if you're just here for a few days, it's, you know, you, there's things to do and they'll fill up your time anyway. So that's that. And then also like, if you have a unique situation say you work um, for a company in Europe and you work, um, let's see, you'd be working like in the middle of the night or towards the in early, early morning hours. So. If you have like a situation or something, for some reason you can't go out, um, then it's tough, man. But for most people, you gotta make time um, and it is what it is, you know? Um, so let's get right into it. To meet friends, right? And this is friends. Um, it's important to find things that uh, you're interested in, like music or fashion or sports, um, even, um, Things that just offer like places where you can go. Like if you like riding bikes, they got plenty of bike stores. There's plenty of people on the trails and stuff. That's a place where you can go and most likely you'll meet somebody. Like if you at a bike store, there's plenty of people to talk to. There's probably hundreds of bike stores in Medellin, you know? So um, that's something you're into. Get out there, get into that community, get to know some folks, right? Um, you know? when it comes to like shopping, if you're into the fashion or like, um, there's plenty of uh, things that have to do with fashion here. There's plenty of modeling going on. There's plenty of um, um, uh, designing going on for clothes and stuff that's made here in Colombia and in Bogota as well. I know a lot of the biggest brands in Colombia are out of Bogota, right? So, you know, if, if that's something you're into, you gotta get into that and get into that community, right? and find ways to, to find people and meet real people. Um, and of course, like if you're into something like YouTube and you can make connections, I don't mean like don't use technology or anything, but as far as just trying to, like for most people, they try to meet people on like these dating apps or stuff like that. Or it's just like, I mean, I feel like that's not the best way to do it. I feel like you should target how you meet in people and use the interest that you have to try to meet people. <laughs> And if you don't know the language, you're gonna have to rely on some people here. So you get a, a 
whether you're doing a homestay and staying in like a, a Colombian family's house or whatever, that's an option. Um, trying to meet people through other friends that you have in the States that maybe had a friend in Colombia or have um, family in Colombia or wherever you're at, um, that's an option as well. So another option for you guys is going to be expat groups. So I use a few um, expat groups or rather I just have a few friends like some of my best friends that introduced me to other people are expats. So um, don't d discount your fellow ex expats as a traveler or whatever. So rely on them and um, link up with them and they'll introduce you to more local people. Uh, most expats hang out with locals. So um, that's a good way to meet people, right? So um, the four... For um for me, let's jump into my three examples of what I did. Um, so I um I have a lot of I've always been into music, right? And I have tons of friends that have always been to music in the states, and a lot of people that are worldwide or whatever. So I booked some like time at the studio, right? Like a local studio here in Medellin. Um, just you know through word of mouth, I heard about this studio being a pretty decent place. And I asked to have an engineer, so I would at least have that connection, right? And so just having the connection of the engineer from the studio session that I had um, opened me up to a whole bunch of other people because he always introduced me to people, um, you know, invited me to work with other people in the studio with him and things like that. So um, that's, that's a great tip you know if there's something that you're into like music then book your studio session you know at, at the local studio if you're in Paris or whatever book yourself a session yeah man so book yourself a session um wherever you're at and uh, try to link up with the local musicians um of wherever you're at so um that's again one of the things that I did <clears throat> was um the studio for sure, the studio is always a good place to meet people anyway. Um, and it's a, just a, a popping place all the time. So um, another thing I did, I went to the sports complex. Like there's this place in the mall and it's like a whole bunch of fields. I know they have stuff like this in the States too, where they have like fields and people rent out different fields or courts or whatever to play different games, whether it's basketball, uh, soccer, football. Um, there's places where, um, teams go like not like just amateur teams go and play sports and out here in Colombia they have a lot of pickup games um at these like complexes so um what I did I, I like to play soccer so I went up there and I asked them to put me with a team and they put me in this whatsapp group and then eventually I found the team the same day it was quick like and uh, they picked me up and then on like they picked me up in the app meaning they chose me to be on their team and then I got to go and play um, soccer with these boys for like an hour and it was super fun. I think everyone chipped in like 10,000 pesos which is like two dollars and we all played rented the court technically and it was awesome man and now I, they they all put me into their team WhatsApp group um, because they play on a certain day so it's named like Martez uh, football group or whatever so that was great, man. I met, met a lot of people and they're always like catting off in the chat, like sending funny videos and um, reminding me, you know, everybody of helpful information and like Pico um, information, which means like the restriction of when you can go outside with this quarantine, they got this thing called Pico Isegula, which means like you can only go outside at certain days based on your ID. So they just throw um, important information to the chat so it's just nice to have um, that that group, you know what I mean, built in. So another thing that I did, um, which has been great, is um, I'm into boxing. I'm into um, mixed martial arts and everything. So going to a boxing gym uh, and, and just um, me and some people there, being able to work out with them and uh, has been great, you know. And if you go to any gym, you know, I even went to a regular gym, too, and met a whole bunch of great people. Um, people are super nice in the gyms out here, um, and they're super into fitness out here in Medellin specifically. So, you know, <clears throat> a lot of that, I assume, would apply in most cities as well. So, especially if you go to these specialized gyms like boxing gyms.
CrossFit gyms, stuff like that. You can, uh, it's a little easier to meet people than just the, the regular like LA Fitness type gym. They have all that out here too, but, um, and I think that it's still easier to meet people in the gym out here because people are just more helpful when you stop and ask them questions out here generally. So those are the three things that I did. You know, the studio um, was a big one for me and then the sports complex. So planes, sports, or um, even if you like bicycles or whatever, doing something like that. And then your your gyms, right? Or like your, if you do like a specialized gym, like um, boxing, CrossFit, stuff like that. So that's what I did, man. And it worked out great for me. I was able to meet tons of people and get invited places and, um, you know, it's been great. Okay, now with that, um, you're gonna have a, plenty of opportunity to meet girls now. Once you have that network going, then yeah, you can meet tons of girls like that because you're gonna get invited places and people always um, invite other people to wherever you're going, you know? It's just like what they do out here in Colombia and most of foreign countries, I, I feel like, are not so clicky. They always invite in different folks into the circle. So, um, you know, in terms of meeting girls, um, like I said, once you got the network, it's easy, but you wanna take every opportunity to go on any type of trip, short trips, if if your friends are like, yo, let's go to my country house uh, in this town, or you know, we're gonna go rent a boat in Cartagena, or you know, do anything, you know, we're gonna go to this unknown region, or da da da. <laughs> I mean, you know, research it first, but most of the time, you know, people are going, you know, this, Colombia is filled with a whole bunch of like national treasures, you know, places, you know, waterfalls, deserts, um, coffee region, beaches, this and that. So, and a lot of other countries have very similar type of stuff, you know, so don't be scared to go on a short trip and explore something. Or if you want to go, go on a short trip to another country, like if you're in Europe, and um, it's, you know, an hour of flight to go to another country or whatever, or take the train to another country. You gotta go on those little short trips. That way you meet more travelers, you meet more, that, that just opens up your network bigger, tenfold. But you also get the bond with the people that you're going with that are from the place that you're living. So um, that's a big thing. So going on trips and, um, you know, just kinda, um, not being scared to get out and not being uh, locked into that one place where you're at, right? So don't uh, forget to travel within traveling, <laughs> I guess is the point. Uh, okay, now you also have the malls, right? That's a big one for me. Um, that's a great place um, for you to meet girls and go on dates, mainly because of the cinemas for the dating. I'm not saying go take a girl to the mall for a date, that isn't, <laughs> that's not a good idea. So, um, yeah, I mean, they got a lot of restaurants there too, and it's cool, um, it's just a place to hang out, but the cinemas are awesome in the mall, man. Like, the cinema at the mall in Viva Envigado, if you guys go on Google and research, just type in cinema Viva Envigado, Viva Envigado, it's like this, dope IMAX. It's the one of the coolest theaters, nicest, cleanest theaters I've ever been in. It beats pretty much any theater in the States. Um, you know, so it's crazy. And in normal times, it is popping off on there. Like Friday, Saturday, even Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, people, you know, they love their movies out here. It's crazy. They love their movies out here. So the cinema is a big, a big, um, win, you know what I mean? Now, um, I just mean like, you know, I don't, I don't think that's a good place to like, um, really go on a date if you're, if you're not like really cool with the girl, you're just like hanging out mode, you know what I mean? When I say that, like, um, maybe you hit already and all that, like you just kind of hanging out with her cause you like spending time with her or whatever. It's something fun to do, you know, like, um, so yeah, that's what it is. Now, some other tips I got for you. This is a big one that I talked about in the beginning of the video, but um, knowing where you are, right? In Columbia, there are different places that hang out and they all have a different crowd and experience. Um, so you wanna um, take places, for example, like Parque Jeras. 
It's like Parque Jarris is like a brothel meets Vegas. You know, it's like Vegas mixed with a little bit of American pop culture, right? And then <laughs> it's just an interesting place, right? It's just, it is there for its reason or whatever. You know, it's a popular place for working girls, popular place for tourists. And it's just, you know, a big draw in the city. So it's a big attraction, right? So that's that. But just a few blocks over from Jarris, they have this part of town called Provenza. Okay, you have to check out Provenza, man. It's like a uh, bar area is really hippie, really um, chic, very uh, like posh or whatever, all them cool words that people are using. <laughs> um, but it's like a really cool crowd in this local Colombians, like the local um, upper class kind of crowd. They go there and hang out or people go there on their birthdays and celebrate and do stuff there. Um, it's really nice bars. Um, you're not gonna see a whole bunch of working girls. Um, you're really not gonna see a whole bunch of tourists either. But like I said, it's just a block or two blocks away from like the heart of Parque Jera. So that that was uh, like a crazy thing to me that was so kind of hidden. And there's a lot of just um, areas right around Parque Jera. Once you had, I think it would be east, southeast, south, um, Southeast and uh, Northeast of Jarrett. So there's a whole bunch of cool stuff. And as you work your way up, um, you get up to a place called Tesoro or uh, also Las Palmas is referred to or like higher up on the mountain in Poblado. Um, they really call that like Las Palmas. And one of my favorite, favorite places to go out is over there. And that place is called La Chula Urbana. Okay, now anybody from Medellin, they know about La Chula, okay? <laughs> I promise you, and it's popping, there's locals in there. It's like this crazy club, it's got two levels. One is a like a discotheque type of, but they play urban music, like, um, they play like reggaeton, you know? And then on top, they got a spot, um, and they play like more traditional salsa music and stuff. So. I mean, this place be packed. I mean, the like cars be backed up on the freeway because it's right off the freeway over there. And it's every, you know, by like 12 midnight, it's, it's cars lined up packed and it's jumping off in there. It's crazy. So um, another place that I like over in that um, more poshy. Now, this is this is more like upper, upper class areas like Las Palmas. The restaurants over there are expensive. Like they're like, you know, compared to how cheap it is everywhere else in the city. Up there, they got a lot more expensive restaurants. So one of my favorite restaurants though, that is a little bit more expensive up there, is called Niku, Niku. And um, it is like a sushi Peruvian uh, fusion type restaurant. And they got some crazy good dishes, man. They got some crazy good steak, sushi, um, the sauteed octopus, they got um, a crazy dessert. Um, so yeah, man, that's another, um, really cool spot. And that's like, if you really want, you know, um, or if you got a circle, if you're into, um, if you, if you get into a circle of uh, friends or whatever that happen to be a little bit more, um, maybe they're, um, expats as well, or they're from out the country, or maybe you are doing a business meeting and you need to impress somebody niku's a great place to go um you know you can have a very classy dinner um with great service um so i highly recommend niku for the higher end needs when you need it uh a really nice place to go okay so yeah <laughs> um aside for that now the last place i'm going to talk about in this list inside the city of places go out it's a very popular place amongst expats and locals um, it's called um, 70th Street is translated to English. It's the street in La Reles where a lot of people talk about, but they have a lot of salsa clubs, a lot of little bars um, kind of lined up on this one street. Um, so it's awesome, man. On a, on a good Thursday, Friday, Saturday night, there's a tons of people out there. There's tons of street food. Um, great place to take a girl if you want to get out and it's a cheap day spot you know a very cheap day spot you can go get a bottle get some beers whatever you want to do 
and, you know, just dance, chill out, you know, hang out, talk to some people, um, just have a good time, you know. And I've met some expats there and I met some locals there that were super nice that I'm still friends with today, um, you know. So that just goes to show, like, I think me and my boy, uh, Luce, shout out Luce, we're, um, we're out one night and, um, yeah, we just, we were getting some street food, but we, I think these other dudes were getting some street food at the same spot we were, and they had a surplus of girls with them, and, like, we just started going in with the surplus of girls, and then we all ended up, like, as one big group, and we went back to their crib with them, hung out and stuff, and, um, it was a fun night, so, yeah, man, like, you never know what can happen, just be, um, be on your P's and Q's, and, and just watch out for, um, Watch out for yourself and whoever you're with, and you'll be fine, you know? Um, with that, you know, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up. I just wanna say one quick thing, you know, you don't have to be friends with every everyone you meet. Um, some people you meet and maybe they, um, I don't know, maybe, you know, you just don't have to be friends with everybody you meet. Um, that's the big important thing is I feel like at first, you kinda feel like, I don't know anyone. So I have to find somebody to be friends with or whatever. But, you know, <clears throat> it's better to, <clears throat> it's better not to um, involve a, a bad or toxic person into your life or you never know what, if you don't have the right feeling about them, um, you know, just is what it is. So I'm just saying like, you know, not everybody you meet is somebody that has to be your friend forever and all this type of stuff. That's not what this video is really about. It's just, how to get out there and expand the network, get to know some people. Um, and maybe some of those people will be lifelong friends for you. So um, with that, I'm gonna wrap it up, guys. Like and comment and subscribe to uh, my channel and go on um, Instagram and follow me, all right? At Kari HQ. And drop a comment, ask me something, you know, I might make a video about it. All right, guys, I'm gonna be out, peace.